I hope all of you will agree to this one point that each one of us wants to live in a society where there is justice. And knowingly and knowingly, each one of us has some conception of justice, whether you have read this chapter or not. That's life. But this chapter gives you opportunity to learn about the evolution of justice. And in this particular video, we are touching one element of its evolution. So today I'm going to talk about three broad points. First, communitarianism as an idea. I've used the word recap because in the previous video, I also talked about certain facets of communitarianism. Then I'm going to talk about origin of communitarianism. Then we are going to discuss views of some prominent scholars. And you can directly use those views in critique of Rawls' theory of justice. Right? Questions have been asked that I shared in previous video. Even if you have not seen the previous video, this particular video will be a start for you and you will get the conceptual clarity of this particular topic. So this is how this video has been designed. So first of all, what is communitarianism? It originated from the word community, right? And says we are using the word ism. It means it's an ideology. And when I say ideology, any communitarianism have some set of ideas and with particular objective. What are these? So we can say that communitarianism is a social and political philosophy because it is like a guiding light. It is lighting a particular aspect and telling us, okay, look on these points also when you conceptualize justice, when you conceptualize rights, when you think about public policies. So communitarianism itself is a broad idea and that is why repeatedly questions are asked from here. Okay. So first of all, what are the basic tenets? It says that community is important. And important for what? For analyzing these political systems. You can simply understand that when I say analyzing political system, political institutions, it, may, it means you can check whether this particular political institution is working for the welfare of the larger good or welfare of some people or running from some individual point of views, individual welfare. So this can be a check. This can be a basis of analysis. Then communitarianism, and if we talk about community, it helps us get an understanding of human identity and well-being. When I say human identity, let me break it for you. Each one of us carry certain identities with us. Identity of the place in which we were born, identity of the place in which we grew up, identity of our education, education background, identity from where we worked, identity from our religion, identity from caste. So there are certain identities. Then we have identity that we belong to this nation. Right? So each one of us live in this community and carry different identities. Communitarianism help us to analyze which identities are prominent and since they are prominent then they are going to impact the very fact of the policy you want to implement for example if government wants to implement certain policy the government think this is going to bring justice today as of now i'm talking about the broad idea of communitarianism then i'm going to talk about its application in your answers right so if government is bringing some policy and government think this is going to be, you know, this is going to bring the idea of justice. For example, distributive justice. Government is distributing something. Okay. But my religion says that this distribution should not be done. This is against the basic tenet of my religion. And there are many people of this religion living in this particular society. So do you think this particular action of government saying this is distributive justice do you think this action would be successful or correct no there there would be you know instances of resistance right government think no this is good but other people think no this is bad because human identity is playing a role there religion is one identity right so similarly we have different identities similarly this identity is connected to our well-being our idea of well-being what is best for us and 
after we understand what are the factors which influence our decision making then only we can conceive the idea of justice if we talk about its origin it's an interesting origin it originated as a critique as a criticism for example in political ideologies chapter you read about liberalism right so if we talk about contemporary liberalism which talks about that that individual rights should be protected by government action this is the basic idea of contemporary liberalism it says that individual rights need to be protected all of us have many individual rights i have right over property i have other individual rights right now it says that it should be protected by government action now communitarianism says that this is a wrong basis of establishing a justified system you are saying if government action is protecting individual property then this is justice no this is not justice because one individual saying no my this is my property and please protect my this individual right over this property and government saying okay we believe in com- contemporary liberalism and the idea of justice which is derived from contemporary liberalism now we are going to protect your property but it communitarianism says that it may be possible that taking portion of that property is going to help or achieve the larger goal of society then can we do that under the you know influence of contemporary liberalism no we cannot do that i'm just giving one example right so communitarianism says that larger good end should be the priority before self because self is also embedded in end we are not living here as individuals we are living here as society look around yourself can you give me one example for which you can claim that this its creation from the atom to the final utility is a product of your labor no you cannot give example just look around look look around the curtain look at the curtain chair flower vase everything has contribution of one person or other do you think you are listening to this lecture and you are listening because you have understanding of language do you think your understanding of language is due to your own smartness no there's contribution of your family there's contribution of your you know uh, your teachers your friends many many words you learn from your friends right so we have contribution of society we cannot consider uh, ourselves as you know individual living in on a island and everything we have achieved on ourselves their society has no contribution here there's a ideology individualism which has certain use in your syllabus use at many places especially when you uh, read ideas on liberalism and you cover uh, scholars who gave or postulated ideas of liberalism for example j s mill law cobbs there you also talk about individualism have you heard about this song you must have uh, heard this song duniya ne humko diya kya duniya ne humse liya kya हम सबकी परवाह करें क्यों किसी ने हमारा किया क्या यू रिमेंबर दिस सॉन्ग फ्रॉम मूवी ऑफ देवानंद देन देर वॉज अ रीमेक ऑल्सो हाउ मेन इफ यू एग्री विद दीज लिरिक्स दुनिया ने हमसे दुनिया को हमने दुनिया ने हमें दिया क्या हमने दुनिया से लिया क्या हम सबकी परवाह करें क्यों किसी ने हमारा किया क्या यू नो दीज लिरिक्स रिजेंबल्स आइडियोलॉजीज रिजेंबल्स इंडिविजुअलिज्म एज एन आइडियोलॉजी कि हम ही हैं दुनिया ने कुछ नहीं दिया हमें दुनिया से हमने कुछ नहीं लिया फिर हम परवाह क्यों करें दैट इज इंडिविजुअलिज्म सो इफ कॉम्युनिटेरियन स्कॉलर्स लाइक सेंडर्स माइकल सेंडर्स माइकल वॉल्डर्स हैव हर्ड दिस सॉन्ग एंड दे यू नो कंसिडर दैट दे अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी एंड दे वुड हैव सेट दैट वी आर रेडी टू क्रिटिसाइज दिस all our life we were criticizing this individualism liberalism these tenets right so what is the difference between contemporary liberalism and libertarianism 
very small difference, but you should learn. When I talk about contemporary liberalism, I talk about protection of individual right through government action, means government has to act, right? But when I use the word libertarianism, it resembles classical liberalism or simply you can say, protection of individual rights should happen. But protection of individual rights are possible when there is check, there is restriction on government. This is the idea under libertarianism. And when we talk about communitarianism, communitarianism was criticizing both of these. Whether you protect individual rights by government action, means government is taking some action, then your rights are being protected. Government is giving you protection. Whether you are saying that individual rights are, be, are going to be protected when we keep a check on government. Government don't do that. That is idea of libertarianism. But here, communitarianism says that that both of these ideas are based on individual, individual rights. But we are community. You cannot segregate individual from community. Every conception you postulate about justice should be based on community, not individual. So that was going on in 1980s. Then we have Rawls theory of justice. And in this theory, Rawls was talking about a universal theory of justice. Rawls was saying that my theory of justice is going to be universal. Means can be applicable anywhere. Rawls was having high hopes when he published this book. But what happened? Communitarianism, you scholars say, means scholars like Michael Sanders, Michael Wells, they started criticizing him. And what were the points I'm going to discuss? Take example of Michael Sanders. His book liberalism and limits of justice and what he's saying Mary Suno, you will be you will also criticize Rawls. you know why michael sandel said that look at the basic idea which Rawls is using can we conceptualize any justice without conception of self no we have to talk about self he's saying the very idea of Rawls about self is wrong Rawls is using a concept of original position in his theory. Means there, is, there will be a position where there will be a wheel of ignorance when person will, be, will become unbiased, free from any kind of identity, preconceived notions. And the decisions taken at that point will bring fairness, justice as fairness. That's the key phrase of Rawls. Michael Sandel says that because every person has some preconceived notion, every person has influence of some identities. Right? And conception of community. You cannot talk about community as an aggregate of individual. No. Community itself is an organic entity which is there. Means it is there. It is not made up of individuals. Means think about individuals. This is good for individuals. This is good for individuals. Then collectively you can say that, okay, now this is good for community. No. That process can be wrong. Because whatever is good for individual may be wrong for community. So your process of deciding what is justice should be other way around. First think what is good for community. Then on this basis decide what is good for individual. So the understanding of conception of community is also faulty. Then Michael Sandels was explaining this, which I have explained to you. Original position is faulty. Where you are saying there will be no preconceived notion, there will be wheel of ignorance and man will be neutral, unbiased. No, there can be no position like this. That's an abstract idea. That is beyond reality. Talk about reality. That was Michael Sandel was saying to Rawls. He says that self is not prior to end. That is what I was saying. You cannot say individuals self is going to be preferred over community self is constituted by end you you should just all of you those who are re, you know viewing this video you should connect with this don't just read the words or listen to the words connect with this think about yourself yourself when i use the word self whatever you know about yourself. Whatever you have done from yourself is not actually 
डन बाई योर सेल्फ दिस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ कॉम्युनिटी एवरी एक्शन यू टेक इज इंफ्लुएंस्ड बाय सर्टेन वैल्यूज सोसाइटी हैज सम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सो एक्चुअली यू आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड इन टू द एंड एंड मीन्स कॉम्युनिटी we are element of this community whatever way we behave whatever we think we like you have some influence there may be some people who like gangs you know gangster movies you know gangs of vasipur do you think you like it from your natural self no you like it because there is indoctrination by this society that is why you like these kind of things so what you think is rightly yours it may be possible and it is michael sandels is saying that it is actually from community rolls has actually undermined the influence of community and you are thinking rolls is right there can be no universal idea which can be accepted by all there can be no universal idea if justice is fairness according to rolls and rolls is making some theory of justice and just uh, rolls is thinking okay my theory of justice is going to bring justice in usa because rolls belong to usa and similarly this theory is going to be acceptable in afghanistan then if rolls is thinking like this then rolls may get a call from a taliban leader and nowadays you know all of you know that clout of taliban is increasing so the point is of afghanistan in afghanistan taliban will say what what you are saying the concept of justice we don't belong to this concept we don't believe in this concept what we think as justice is justice and look into this population who are behind us and they all believe that our idea of justice is justice now tell me do you think your idea is universal then rolls will say ki eventually these people will understand that my idea is universal even people in afghanistan will understand even taliban will understand or even if taliban don't understand but this is the universal idea just as at this point michael sandel is saying prabhu rolls ruk jao listen to the aspect of communitarian perspective also if you will listen to our critique you will change your heart and this is what happened actually rolls changed his ideas in his next book political liberalism he accepted some of the tenets of communitarianism some of the critiques interesting huh so community michael sandel was saying that people are not abstract agents making abstract choices they are what they are they are actually located in a time and space whatever choice you are making they are not abstract they are not random everything has a particular sequence reason it may be possible you are in a particular location you are living in a particular time that is why you are having these kind of views so man is embedded in a network of social relations and we cannot nullify that social relations have huge influence on us and that is why he says that even rolls conception of rationality is not free from his own concept conception of community right wrong when rolls is saying my theory of justice is rational and in original position when man is free from any identity then there will be justice so at this point michael sandel says that mr rolls what you are saying as rational is actually biased because you, what you when when i use the word rational it means what you think logical so my rolls is saying yeah this is logical but michael sandel is saying how can it this be logical for everyone because you belong to usa that is why you are using those tenets in your theory are saying this is universal no you are also biased your ideas are also based on a particular time and space it is not necessary that what you think as rational will also appear rational to afghanistani person because their culture is different their time is different their location is different their challenges are different 
right? Now, when we have gone through the views of Michael Sanders, now come the Michael Walzer. Now, Michael Walzer, in his book, Spheres of Justice, do remember the name of books because these add value to your answer. So he says that single universal principle of justice cannot exist. What Rawls was saying that my principle is universal, no, it cannot exist. Justice actually differs in spheres. So just look at the difference in the views of Michael Sender and Michael Walzer, although both Michael are on the same side. But uh, uh, Michael Walzer is, you know, uh, putting light on a different aspect of communitarianism. He says that if you talk about a principle of justice in economy, I am giving a special preference to this community in economic avenues. Means I am giving special preference to this community in say, uh, say jobs. And considering, okay, my justice is that, that for these communities, we are going to have reservation in these jobs. So in it, and for these communities, we are going to give land or certain services on subsidized rate. This you are considering that this is justice in economy. But can you you cannot replicate same model in politics? Because if you think same kind of reservation, same kind of facilities you can give in politics, and you expect same kind of result, it may be possible results are different. Because it's fair to it's fair. We have to change our policies. For example, we may be having one policy in education. Do you think the policy which we are giving the policy which we are implementing in education will be applicable also in the field of health? No. Because every sphere has its own reality, own needs. It may be possible in particular area, people are landless, but they have education avenues. So at that point, your policy with respect to land can work there. But the policy with respect to education may be redundant because already they have some systems in place. So you should choose your conception of justice looking on the sphere in which you are talking about. So that is why he said that he was talking about distributive justice means whenever you distribute some goods and resources, I mean, government is doing that. So what conception of justice you should adhere to? So he says that there can be no universal justice. You have to design policies specific to the need. He says that different goods ought to be distributed differently and for different reasons and for by different agents. Within education, if I say you cannot have same policy for primary and frame policy for say higher education for higher education you may be having you know facilities based on academics okay, if you are having this much academic background if you are clearing this exam then government is going to you know uh, pay your fees but can you use same policy of distribution of goods means means government is paying resources can you can you say that can you say government can replicate same kind of policy for primary education and ask for a ask from a 6 year old just attempt this exam and prove your academic credentials then only we are going to pay your fees no we are talking about free and compulsory education for that stage but for higher education we are talking about that we are going to have a particular exam then we are going to give you scholarship right so there's a distribution in the way justice is perceived if you think that free and compulsory education should be given at the level of this also, at the level of this also, and categorize between the communities. So it may be possible there are some sections who will revolt. So you have to take into consideration other aspects also. Right? It's fair to sphere, realities differ. So that is why he says that all these differences arise from different understanding, which is inevitable. Means every sphere has different understanding. Because have different background historically and culturally. Right? That is why land reforms. Land reforms were not that much successful in Indian context. But land reforms were successful in some other nations. You know why? History, culture, background also matter. Some societies who were able to understand the importance of these laws, able to connect 
with these institutions, these offices. And these offices were also matured and at that stage that they were successfully implementing laws. There was not, not that much gap. So that's how these policies were implemented. But in India, realities were differ. Means they were these offices were corrupt at that time. So the point is a policy will be successful or not. Your idea of justice, that was the idea of justice, not land reforms. We were taking land from zamidars. We were taking land from some community, some people who were having uh, land above a particular unit, uh, limit and we were distrib redistributing it. So don't you think it is a it is a kind of justice to the landless people? Those who are working on these lands from the generations and thinking, okay, this is our destiny. They were not given the due amount which they were producing. Right? So that was a conception of justice. But this conception of justice was that successful in Indian context to the level it was expected? No. You know why? Because there were different background, history, culture. A culture who believes that anything can be done by jugaad, by paying some someone. But there are other societies in which processes were designed as such that there were more incentives in following what is the direction of government and punishments are huge if you are not following the directions of the government. Then can you, can you imagine same kind of chaos there? No. Because processes are clear. If you follow, you are go going to be on, you know, better position. You need not to do corruption because corruption is going to have severe ramifications. So, the, the reason is that history, culture, background, the processes, all, all of these matter. And Walder gave example of Indian caste system. Walder said, look at Indian caste system. People, even in modern society, they're educated, but they also implicitly accept caste system in one way or other. They will say, we are against caste system, we are against caste system. But when it comes to marriage, marriage to caste me karni padegi. Ghar se bahar nikal diya jayega. So the point is that people adhere. And it is not about uh, accepting under some foundation. Innately, they have certain ideas that they have, you know, heard from the beginning. Ki achha, aisa hota hai, waisa hota hai. So these ideas are there. So even if they are doing injustice to some other person who belong to a different caste, but they will they will not be able to feel that injustice because according to them, that is justice. If someone who is elder to you, living in your village, more educated than you, more capable than you, and whenever that person is coming into the assembly, you are sitting on the chair, but that person is bound to sit on the ground. And you are not feeling injustice because... because Many of you might feel injustice because you are, you know, having this lecture and before that you have, you know, matured your thoughts. But there are some people who won't be able to feel that this is injustice because that is not, that is normal for them. That is because they have particular culture, social background. So that was the point which Walzer was making here. For example, Greek. In Greek society, stratification of society was that there were masters and slaves. And slaves were living, many of the slaves were living life less than human. But if you interview the masters, they will say that we are benevolent. We are so kind. We are gold hearted. Because they don't feel any wrong in, you know, doing wrong things with the slave. Because they feel that these slaves are naturally made to live like an animal. Nature has made them that. Right? So the conception of justice is coming from background. That is the point Walzer was making. Walzer was saying, Rawls, even if you say original position and you try to use that original position principle and universal idea of justice in India's caste system in, in Greek society at the time, you will fail. You have to incorporate communitarian ideas. I hope you are able to understand now. So if we conclude... With the Walzer's view, Walzer was saying that we are producer of social meaning. 
we as a human we give meaning this is right this is wrong caste is right this is wrong so we give meanings and how we give these meanings based on our experiences of the past what we have heard and we give social meanings some meanings we inherit and some meanings we generate we are actually meaning making machines but walder said that we should not impose our meanings our rights and wrongs our definitions of good life bad life on others who do not agree with our meanings who don't identify with our meanings we should recognize the differences and we should respect others that is what walder was saying i hope walder is clear now so in the end we can concur on this particular point that justice is not the science of homogenization mixing everyone into one principle no justice is not that justice is art of differentiation justice is to differentiate agree yes there are differences in the ideas of people in afghanistan in the people of usa there's a differences we should respect the differences and we should find ways along with these differences that is the idea of justice from communitarian perspective i hope this video helped you getting to diverse perspective and especially the communitarian perspective of justice in the next video we are going to talk about another unit till then keep learning keep growing shashank tyagi signing off and do let me know what you got from this video and if you have any query what server from psr optional you can reach out to telegram and you have psr scoop going on one page crisp document covering specific vocabularies and phrases of psr optional which can add value to your answer and thereby your score see you